So, hi, this is Gina Versa. I'm here at Long Beach Comic Con at the Here Initiative booth. I'm with Danny Miki, the current eker of Bat All Star Batman. How are you doing, Danny? Fine, how you doing? Doing pretty good, pretty good. So, <laughs> Danny. The oh, sorry? Return the question right back down. <laughs> there you go. Um, so, Danny, uh, you know, Bat, you, know uh, you, Scott, and Greg, you uh, finished uh, 51 issues and we're on All Star Batman. We relaunched. What's been, um, like, uh, um, what's been the coolest aspect of working on like All Star? I think the fact that he's not in Gotham, where it's actually like a road trip. Uh, I love road trips, so uh, anything when you're looking at like scenic, uh, desert roads, a cafe in the you know out of the blue, like a little diner and stuff like that, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So this right now is just a wild ride, and um, this, I just call I just it a road guys. trip from hell. From hell, right. it's so, exciting. Um, Kind of Mad Maxis. Yeah, kind of Mad Maxis. Yeah, on the road, run on the run. So, trees, lakes. Very cool. <laughs> Stuff. Batman in the day, right? Yeah. When was the last time you know you seen that? <laughs> um, and the relaunch it brought back Two Face, who we haven't really seen for a while. Um, it's like Scott's first uh, like Two Face story, was it? And he's a little different this time. Can you talk about uh, Two Face? I think the transition of him with longer hair, and and I mean, did, did, I just found out that he because he was shot, I suppose. Um, so they did say to make him a little bit more gritted up and messed up, and I didn't completely understand why. But I just like the transformation of him from knowing from what he looked like before, like in a nice suit, you picture him nice clean cut. But this one, he has hair as long, he's a little bit more crazy, radical, more evil eye. So it, it's just a little more. Um, I don't know. Out of the box for no, Two Face for me to eat because he's long hair, you know, and one side's kind of all fried up. I get it, like Two Face is, but it, it seems like it's a little bit more fried than kind of like radioactive messed up or, or you know, kind of like this disformation. It's more like fried kind of. And the way Dean colors them too, it looks like it's like lava or something. Yeah. It's kind of jacked up. Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of cool. Very cool. Um, so. So you, we, you, you know, uh, relaunch it at John, R John Romita Jr. Um, is there, you know, the previous artist was Greg. Greg is awesome. John is great. You know, um, is there any difference, like inking or any? Oh, big difference. Yeah. I think John le leaves a little bit more for interpretation, but it, it's, it, it's kind of like, you got to like fill in the gap sometimes in there. He has his own style and you can read him very well, but I think he, his, his, his penciling is very bold. And then my inking, you can tell with Greg, is very thin and minute and linear. So trying to put a, a linear and against bold, I'm adding more lines and trying to fill it in and making it look right. I'm still kind of on that journey of finding the groove, and I think I'm just starting to find the groove. So it, uh, it, it's coming together really nice. And I, I hope I could just kind of evolve more even. And the sad thing about it, of course, is when I finally do evolve, the, the, the run will be over. <laughs> I'm still in a learning process, though. Yeah, coming in myself. You know, yeah, I'm like trying to improve each step. And kind of changing gears here, Danny, you're also uh, signing here at the Hero Initiative booth. Uh, we have a uh, representative uh, from Hero Initiative. If you guys could uh, talk about uh, what you do and everything. I will after I eat this French fry, but <laughs> sure. Um, sorry, I'm making a French fry theme. Um, my name is Christina Joyce. I'm the um, development director for the Hero Initiative. We basically raise money for comic creators in medical and financial need. We're really well supported by all these artists that are mainly like Mike Perkins and Danny Mickey and also you know Mike Choi. We're all doing sketches for us this weekend and um, signatures, but like Jimmy Palmiotti and Mike Grell and just have a whole group of people that really support what we do because we, we honestly help people that are, are in need. Um, we've given over a million dollars worth of aid um, in the last what, 50, 20 years. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Yeah. And, um, sorry. Uh, That's okay. And um, um, where can we uh, find uh, more info yeah. about the website? More info. So, um, you can go to our website, which is www.heroinitiative.org. Um, you know, you can always... There's a, there should be some menus there, where, what things you can buy, what, how you can donate, um, what coming events we're going to have, um, where, what cons we're going to be at. It's also like a bunch of photos and, and always press releases of what's coming up. So you can kind of follow, and also you can follow us on Instagram and you can follow us on um, Facebook. 
and on Twitter. Um, so, you know, check us out, and um, the more people know about us, the more money, we, the more people we can help, and that's really our, our main goal. Yeah, definitely. So for you, so recently it was uh, Batman Day. Uh, it was uh, September 17th. Yes. And, that's a <laughs> And, you know, uh, I don't think any other superhero has its own day. You know, he's probably, you know, uh, the most popular comic book hero, we could say. Uh, what to you like is the most like coolest or the favorite your favorite aspect of Batman? I, you know, I've always liked ninjas, just dark black blending with the night, run around, you can do things like that, be really cool. And uh, I don't know, Batman kind of in a sense, pretty good a concept. Black cape, drive bat, dark night, never out in the day except All Star Batman. Yeah. So I think that that aspect of it is just very mysterious and cool. Uh, other than, you know, his, his story and the background, of course, is typical. But, you know, Batman to me kind of uh, reminds me of when I think of Batman, mostly it goes straight back to 66 Batman because that's what I grew up in. Um, grew up on was, uh, you know, the 66 version. So, that, yeah, so it, it's a fine line when you, think, when you take the, cor the campy out of the series. But those two meet, it's kind of really neat. Thank you. Thanks for thank coming by oh, the booth. And thank, you. And thank you, Danny Mickey, for being so great. As I'm drawing. Yeah.